Hello everyone, this is Hunter. Today I'm going to talk about the path loop download. Path loop is a function that asks to debug or modify the program remotely. No need to operate inside. So for the ID model, there are two types available for path loop. One is PLC download and the second one is HMI download. So following, let me introduce how to do it in WinNet platform. First one is about the PLC. We need to download the HMI program first. Make sure this program is able to communicate with PLC. As we can see, there are some communication addresses for the PLC LX 3V. And no timeout, no normally control it. Now we need to new a setting for a PLC download. So uh, this is parameter need to be consistent with the HMI project settings here. So we need to send the same value. and the same this time out and the name is name and click save so and start this password remember this virtual port number and make sure this port doesn't be occupied by other software and after this password is running we can go to the PLC editor now new uh, PLC program Compile it. And click this transfer setup. So this is the you know, virtual part we just set up. So select this one and uh, click connection test. So we can see that it is successfully connect. And click OK. Then we can write to the PLC now. So we can see it, it is complete and we can go to the moni monitor mode. So as we can see we can modify this device re re register value off so after the PLC project is finished we need to click this stop to close the password otherwise the HMI will not e exist in the 
this pass-through stadium. After we close it, NetMind will automatically restart. So uh, I can click this flash and we can see back to the normal now. So uh, this is uh, all about the uh, PLC download. And the second one, HMI download is more simple. We just need to enable the corresponding download tool in settings and you find the version I used this one and click OK close it then go to the HMI download tab click start remote so as we can see if after the pass through channel is open this download tool will pop up, pop up automatically so uh, here I find the project file we want to download into the HMI uh, because I already modified this project in advance here, here I knew another one normally input so uh, you can see it is downloading the file. So after the download is finished, the download tool will close automatically. And because it is it will restart itself. So we need to refresh the list and until wait until it back on to online so as we can see this screen project screen is already changed it, which means I already successfully download into the HMI so this is our only content I present today thanks for your watching see you next time